at McCall's Pumpkin Patch in Moriarty, New Mexico. I'm Rosalinda Roman, and this... Welcome back to New Mexicast, everyone. If you saw last episode, you know I did a story in Moriarty, New Mexico about the pinto bean fiesta. Well, I am still in Moriarty, which by the way is a town just east of Albuquerque, and I'm still keeping with the harvest theme. But instead of celebrating pinto beans, this week we're celebrating pumpkins. This episode and this gorgeous New Mexicast logo are brought to you by FoundationImaging.net, where they transform your engineering, architectural, and entrepreneurial visions into compelling photorealistic renderings. You will be amazed at what they can do for you. As the tractor heads toward McCall's Pumpkin Patch in Moriarty, New Mexico, Calvin and Andrew may be the most expressive, but all the kids on this hayride are buzzing with excitement. They're on a field trip with Manzano Mountain Early Learning Center, or Vicky's House in Tijeras, and they get to take home any pumpkin they want. Can you carry it? Or at least any pumpkin they can carry. I think I need a little one. Like, what about this one? No, that's a That's picture. too big? Of course, in this gold mine of golden gourds, sometimes their eyes are bigger than their muscles. Evan, do you find one that you can carry? Just one reason McCall's is a favorite fall field trip for Vicky's house director, Vicki Burns. There's so many fun things to do here and the kids just love it. They especially love getting to pick their own pumpkins, going out in the field. They love the hay ride. They just love the whole experience. An experience made possible by the McCall family for over a decade. My husband did the first tiny field trip about 10 years ago. Um, and then the next year his mom and a couple of her friends did some field trips and then it's just kind of exploded from there. But it's not just pumpkins that keep people coming back to McCall's pumpkin patch. There are plenty of hands-on activities like this bouncing pillow for example. It's the reason that kids from Monsanto Mountain Early Learning Center and thousands of other school kids make this an annual field trip. Can you see my feet Jaden? <laughs> are they still there? I'm starting not to be able to feel them. Like the corn box, where the kids especially enjoy burying their teacher, Miss Brandy. The kids seem to have a, such a great time. They, they do, they do. And the great part is we get to talk about it tomorrow, so I'm sure they'll remember some things. <laughs> like this. Like this. <laughs> okay, Em, you ready? You want to be buried? Anytime the teachers do that, whether it's in a sandbox or really get into the play with the kids. It's just a wonderful thing. And we have some wonderful teachers who all just love to play with the kids. While some kids play in the corn box, others enjoy feeding kids and other goats oh. by hand or with this elaborate pulley system to reach the sky-high goat bridge. Oh, dump it over. From goats A bunny right there. to bunnies corn to tractor tires it's clear this isn't your ordinary pumpkin patch it's an authentic real farm you know you see pumpkin patches popping up all over the place but we actually grow the pumpkins and and you know we were a, a pumpkin farm before we were a pumpkin patch so, so i think people like their kids to experience that and just some you know old-fashioned fun i loved it there's the turtle old-fashioned done done for the day <laughs> delightfully exhausting fun that keeps the kids look at this pumpkin right there and the parents coming back for more show your pumpkin man. at McCall's pumpkin patch in Moriarty New Mexico I'm Rosalinda Roman
Well, since this story is going to be posted just before Halloween, let me say to all of you, have a happy and safe pumpkin day. May you not have too many sugar-induced belly aches and have a lot of fun with family and friends. Speaking of family and friends, a lot of mine have asked me what they can do to help keep this video podcast venture alive. So I came up with a what list, what you can do to help. Here it is. You can watch the episodes. You can help spread the word. You can add a comment anywhere here on the website, and you can take a survey. All of those things are pretty simple, but they help me a lot to keep going with this video podcast and hopefully get some really good sponsors one of these days. In the meanwhile, the most important thing you can do is just keep on watching and let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching New Mexicast. I'm Rosalinda Roman. Like a dream New Mexicast theme song is New Mexico by Dorian Spencer. Additional support for New Mexico is provided by... This is why I wasn't sure I was going to make this happen this week. i uh, got a two-year-old hanging on me. My husband went to China. The baby is teething. It's been a rocky week, but I really am enjo enjoying doing the... Okay, three, two, one. All right, three, two. I just been laughing because Ziva's right behind you. <laughs> Um, I'm Rosalinda, and that little crying baby you see behind me is part of the reason I wasn't sure I was going to actually make it on time and right this week. My husband was in China, my two-year-old was proving why they call it the terrible twos, and poor baby Ziva, as you saw back there, is teething like crazy. Okay. You're a brave woman, Brandy. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> okay, I've never had corn up my nose, but I don't think I'm going to start now. It's a lot of corn, huh? How do you say corn? Maize.